When declaring a function as async, for returning a task, the framework will automatically generate the necessary state machine to make it work. When using async methods, you need to use the await keyword to tell the framework that it should expect a result sometime in the future from this function. In fact, when returning a task, we don't have to specify the async keyword on the business object function because it's awaitable by default. The test method needs to be declared as async and return a task for the test to run as expected. If we return void, the assertions in the test will fail because the values that are expected to be updated in the business object has not yet been updated. This because the framework has not been made aware that it should expect a result in the future. Returning async void will not yield the expected result because pooling will not be used, which will yield the result that the call won't be blocked and the test framework won't wait for the function to return. The testing framework expects a task to be returned. It is implemented like this intentionally by Microsoft because it turns out that using reflection to detect an async method that does not return a task is very challenging. It also makes for a cleaner implementation showing the intent of using a task. Note, MS test and X unit supports async task methods. N unit is expected to support it in the future. In this scenario, we have a method that will run for a long while before setting a value. We simulate this by using the thread sleep method to hold the execution for two seconds. We do this to observe the effect of using a task clearly and what will happen if we don't declare the test method as async and use the await keyword. A lambda expression is used to declare an inline function instead of creating a new function. The test method must be declared as async, returning a task, and the await keyword must be used to specify that the execution should hold and wait for the function call to return. Declaring the test function as void will yield an erroneous result because the function call will not be asynchronous and hence the waiting for the function will never take place. This implementation will not run. Because the test function is declared as async void, it will not be run by the test engine. The assert of this implementation will fail. Because the test function is declared as void, it will be run synchronously and the value will not be updated. Note. Remember that test classes and test methods must be declared as public to be run by the test engine. Also keep in mind that an async method should return a task, not void, to function properly.